Oregon CCO Coordinated Care Organization was built on the idea that uh, communities could figure out ways to keep people healthy rather than just spending all of our money on uh, individuals when they're sick. And our efforts are aimed at uh, making people aware of what some of the root causes are for um, illness and certainly diet and exercise are a huge root cause to people having challenges later in their lives. Nutrition and physical activity is important for everyone and it's something that we need to build as a community. Uh, it needs to be everyone from little kiddos and trollers to their siblings to their peers to their older students that are their role models to parents to grandparents coming together, uh, moving and eating together. It, when we exercise together, when we are physically active together, and when we eat together, so much community is built around that. Not only are we becoming healthier and taking care of our bodies that we want to have us lead us through our lifespan, but it's also a time that we're building those connections and those relationships so, so that we're stronger together and building that community. And you can bring people together, they all bring different things to the table that all can contribute. I do think too that we don't live in a bubble. And so um, if you want to be healthy, um, you need to live in a place where health is a priority. And so the only way that's going to happen is if, if all your community members, um, your businesses, your organizations see that as a priority. That's why those connections are, are just crucial. For a long time, healthcare has been segregated into its own um, realm, uh, as education has been in its own realm. And so we have been doing things the same way for a long time. And it's time to actually maybe look at reinventing our wheel and bringing everybody to the table and you know, not so much living in silos, but actually realizing that health and nutrition and education have an effect on our overall well-being, our wellness, and our health and overall. After today's work, I really hope that we leave with greater partnerships, a better understanding of the work that each organization or individual is doing, and also the opportunity to work together in a more effective manner for the benefit of our kids. We, we have a lot of solutions to those challenges within our purview. And if we can bring communities together to get healthy food in front of our children, help their brains develop in a safe and, and uh, productive way, and also make people aware of the impacts of, of, of not doing that, not taking the time to do that, uh, we're going to um, move the communities in a positive direction. And I think Eastern Oregon is poised to lead the state of Oregon. And also, I believe Oregon is well positioned to lead the nation in how uh, health reform, education reform, and public safety reform are really an element of relationships at the local level that we build upon, not something that we force on communities from the top down.